Hi, the topic is graph traversal technique. In previous lecture, we discussed what are the basic terminologies associated with the graph and how to store the graph in the memory. Now we discuss how to traverse a and search a node in the graph. Graph traversal means visiting every node and edge exactly once in a well-defined manner. There are two techniques for traversing a graph, BFS and DFS, depth first search and breadth first search. These two techniques are used to traverse and search a node. take an example in bfs and dfs we generally use two terms first is visit a vertex And second is explore the vertex. Visit the vertex means I have just seen it. And explore the vertex means to visit all the adjacent vertices of that vertex. In BFS, we can start visiting from any vertex we can start traversing from any vertex suppose we start traversing from node a so a just visited now start exploring a start exploring a means visit its all adjacent vertices the adjacent vertices of a is b and c the order you may choose any one. You can choose B first or you can choose C first. Suppose we choose B first. So, explore A that means start visiting its adjacent vertices that is B and C. Now, start exploring B. Means adjacent vertices of B. A d e a is already visited d and e is unvisited then visit d and e now start exploring c exploring c means visit all its adjacent vertices the adjacent vertices of c is a f g a is already visited so visit F and G. Order koi sa bhi le sakte hai aap. F ko bhi pehle le sakte hai G ko bhi. Order is mein matter nahi karta hai. To in BFS, the order of traversal is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But in DFS, We can also start from any vertex, choose vertex A, and start exploring A. The adjacent vertices of A and B, uh, adjacent vertices of A are B and C. Then visit B. Now suspend exploring A and start exploring B. The exploring V that means the adjacent vertices of B are D and E. Visit D. Now stop exploring B and start exploring D. There is no ver adjacent vertices of D then go back and continue start exploring B. So, unvisited node is E, then start exploring E. There is no adjacent vertices of E, then go back and start exploring B. B is completely exp 
explored then go back and continue to explore a so the adjacent vertices of a is c now start exploring c f and g now f and stop exploring c and start exploring f there is no vertex adjacent to f then go back and start exploring c again that is g this is the order of traversal using bfs so we see in bfs the order is label by label traversing first label 1 label 2 label 3 first we traverse label 1 then we traverse label 2 then we traverse level 3 d e f g so bfs is just like level order in binary tree but in dfs we start from the a then explore the a b and c and come back to the b and stop b stop a and start exploring b then visit d and start exploring d so it is just like a pre order so dfs is a pre order in a binary tree actually uh, we take tree as example tree is also a graph so how bfs and dfs works we just pick the source vertex s to start the traversing traversing kisi bhi node se start kar sakte hain then discover all the vertices that are adjacent to s but in bfs we visit all the adjacent vertices of the visited node then go to the next node but in dfs we visit the all the neighbors of the neighbor going before visiting the other neighbor so this is the uh, two different answer in bfs approach is different in dfs approach is different so done when all the vertices have been visited and be explored so start dfs depth first search in this method after visiting a vertex v which is adjacent to w1 w2 w3 next we visit one of the adjacent node like w1 and next we visit all the adjacent vertices of w1 then back to the w2 dfs use a stack data structure means it follow lifo strategy last in first out take an example in this procedure push the starting vertex onto the stack when the stack is not empty pop a vertex from the stack and visit the node v and push all the adjacent vertices but they are not visited into the stack jaisa ki maine bataya tha ki order koi bhi ho sakta hai visit karne ka to adjacent vertices can be pushed in any order into the stack take an example there is an a graph and traverse the graph using dfs first we find out the adjacency list of the all the nodes node a is adjacent to b d and e node b is adjacent to a c e c is adjacent to b and f d is adjacent to a g e is adjacent to a b g f is adjacent to c g adjacent to d e h h is adjacent to g and i and i adjacent to start and we can start the traversing from any of the node suppose we start the traversing from node a 
and push A onto the stack. Now start exploring A. Exploring A means visit all the adjacent vertices of the A if they are not visited. विजिट करने के लिए एक बुलियन एरे हम अलग से मेंटेन करते हैं जिसमें हमारे शुरुआत में सारे फ्लैग की वैल्यू होती है जीरो जैसे जैसे वो स्टैक में आते जाएंगे हम उन जीरो को वन में कन्वर्ट करते जाएंगे तो उसको वो एक विजिटेड एरे अलग से मेंटेन होगा मेमोरी में नाउ स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग ए द एडजस्टेंट वर्टिस ऑफ ए आर बी डी ए Push it onto the stack because B, D, E are not visited yet. B, D, E. Now top of the stack is E. Now start exploring E. That means visit all the adjacent vertices of E. A, B, G. B D already in the stack. A B G A is already visited. B is already visited. यदि वो stack में एक बार push हो गया, that means वो visit हो गया है. But G is not visited. Then push G onto the stack. Now top of the stack is G. जैसा कि हम जानते हैं कि स्टेक में सारे ऑपरेशन टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक से परफॉर्म होते हैं पुश एंड पॉप फ्रॉम टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक नाउ स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग जी डी जी के एडजस्टेंट वर्टे से हैं डी ई एच डी ऑलरेडी विजिटेड है ई ऑलरेडी विजिटेड है बट नोड एच इज नॉट विजिटेड देन पुश इट ऑन टू दी स्टैक and now start exploring h start exploring h the adjacent vertices of h r g and i g is already visited but i is not visited then push it onto the stack now start exploring i The adjacent vertices of I is H. H is already visited in the stack. Then explore. ये जो मैं circle कर रही हूँ that explore means we pop from the stack. ये stack से pop होते जा रहे हैं. Now start exploring D. The adjacent vertices of D are A and G. A is already visited. G is already visited. So popped, and start exploring B. The adjacent node of the B are A, C, E. A is already visited. C is not visited. Push it onto the stack, and E is already visited. Now start exploring C. The adjacent vertices of C is B and F. B is already visited, and F is not visited. Then push it onto the stack. Next, start exploring F. The adjacent vertices of F is C, and C is already visited. Now our stack is empty. The order in which we explore the node are. First, we explore A, then E, then G, then H, then I, then D, then B, then C, then F. This is the order of traversal using DFS. First, we traverse A, then E, then G. Then H, then I, then D, then B, then C, then F. But ये हमेशा ध्यान रखेगा जब आप इस टेक में ये एलिमेंट एडजस्टेंट एलिमेंट को पुश कर रहे हैं तो उसका ऑर्डर कुछ भी हो सकता है. Suppose यहाँ A को एक्सप्लोर करने के बाद B को पुश किया फिर D को और फिर E को ऐसा भी हो सकता है पहले D को पुश किया जाए फिर B को पुश किया जाए फिर E को. 
ये डिपेंड करता है आपके इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पे कि आप कैसे पुश करा रहे हैं ठीक है सो दिस इज द डी एफ एस इन दिस बी यू बी स्टैक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर नाउ वॉट इज द एनालिसिस ऑफ द डी एफ एस फर्स्ट स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नोट विजिट हुआ है या नहीं हुआ है उसके लिए हम एक एरे मेंटेन कर रहे हैं जिसमें हमारे हर वर्टेक्स के करोस्पॉन्डिंग सपोज फाइव वर्टेक्स हैं आपके ग्राफ में तो हर वर्टेक्स की करोस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यू क्या है फ्लैग वैल्यू जीरो दैट मींस नो वर्टेक्स इज विजिटेड जैसे ही वर्टेक्स विजिट हो जाएगा वैल्यू हो जाएगी वन तो एरे ऑफ साइज ऑफ द विजिटेड एरे इज ऑर्डर ऑफ बी क्योंकि एक एरे में मैक्सिमम कितने नोट्स हो सकते हैं जितने ग्राफ में नोट्स हैं दूसरा कि नोड एक्सप्लोर हुआ है या नहीं उसके लिए आप एक मेंटेन कर रहे हैं डेटा स्ट्रक्चर स्टैक उसमें भी एक बार में मैक्सिमम वर्स्ट केस में मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ नोड कितने हो सकते हैं वी सो स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ऑर्डर ऑफ वी इफ यू आर यूजिंग एडजेंसी लिस्ट टू स्टोर दी ग्राफ देन टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ऑर्डर ऑफ वी प्लस ई because in that case we traverse only those edges that are present in the graph but we are using adjacency matrix the time complexity is v square because in that case age is present or not both in both condition we maintain the data if age is present entry is 1 If it is not is present, the entry will be zero. So this is the analysis of the DFS. Now next is breadth for search. In breadth for search, we do level by level traversing. So in this method, after visiting a vertex V, we must visit all the adjacent vertices of V, W one, W two, W three. then go to the next level for this purpose we use q data structure which follow fifo strategy first in first out jo sabse pehle insert hoga wahi sabse pehle out hoga and to maintain the node is visited or not we use a boolean array so push bola n q means insert insert the starting node into the queue if queue is not empty pop means delete queue mein hum dq aur n q operation terms use karte hain dq a vertex v from the queue print it and n q is all adjacent vertices into the queue if they are not visited same adjacent vertices can be inserted in any order it depends on the implementation but to obtain a unique traversal we will in enqueue them in alphabetical order taken same same example we can start traversing from any vertex first we create the adjacency list A is adjacent to B, D, E. Same procedure. Now we start traversing from A and insert the A into the queue. Now start exploring A. Start exploring A means visit all the adjacent nodes of the A. Adjacent node of the A is B, D, E. now push b d e into the queue procedure koi bhi ho sakta hai push hone ka ye baat dhyan rakhiyega b d e push kariye ya d e b push kariye order change kar sakte hain it totally depends on the implementation now push b d e into the queue as we know in queue we insert from the rear side and delete from the front side so now we explore b explore b means just delete from the queue and 
स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग बी तो क्यू में ऑलरेडी पहले से क्या है डी एंड ई अब जो इसके एडजस्टेंट नोड है वो रेयर से इंसर्ट हो जाएंगे तो बी के एडजस्टेंट हैं ए सी ई ए ऑलरेडी विजिटेड सी विजिट नहीं हुआ है तो इंसर्ट इट इन टू द क्यू क्यू में इंसर्ट करना है तो लास्ट में इंसर्ट होगा ई ऑलरेडी विजिटेड यदि एक भी नोड हमारा क्यू में इंसर्ट हो गया दैट मीन्स वो नोड हमारा विजिट हो गया है नाउ स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग डी E and C already into the queue. Now explore D. Adjacent vertices of D is A and G. A is already visited. Then G. G is not visited. Then insert it into the queue. Now start exploring E. C and G is already into the queue. Adjacent vertices of E are A, B, J. A already visited है B already visited है and G is already visited. Then start exploring C. G already हमारे Q में है Start exploring C. Adjacent vertices of C are B and F. B already visited है but F is unvisited. Then insert it onto the Q. Now start exploring G. The adjacent vertices of G are D, E, H. D already visited है, E already visited है, H is unvisited. Then push it onto the stack. Sorry, Q. Now start exploring F. Adjacent vertices of F are C. C is already visited. Then H. Start exploring H. Adjacent vertices of H are G and I. G is already visited, but I is not visited. Then push it onto the Q. Now start exploring I. I के adjacent है H. H is already visited. Then Q is empty. The order in which we explore the nodes are A, B, D, E, C, G, F, H, I. First we visit A, B, D. E C G F H I. बस आपको ध्यान इतना देना है. B F S है तो Q use करना है. D F S है तो stack use करना है. Push करने के लिए और insert करने के लिए order कोई भी हो सकता है. It totally depends on the implementation of the your algorithm. Now the analysis of the breadth for search. First, we talk about the space complexity. Space complexity is order of v. That means array visit edge. मैंने कहा था एक हम visited array अलग से maintain कर रहे हैं boolean array. यदि node visit हो गया है तो entry one होगी. Visit नहीं हुआ है तो entry zero होगी. तो उसमें maximum number of nodes कितने होंगे हमारे order of n. दूसरा आप maintain कर रहे हैं कि ये node explore हुआ है या नहीं हुआ. एक्सप्लोर हुआ है नहीं हुआ है तो उसके लिए आप मेंटेन करके चल रहे हो क्यू तो उसमें भी एक बार में मैक्सिमम वर्स्ट केस में कितने नोट्स हो सकते हैं सपोज ये वाला केस है तो एन नंबर ऑफ एन माइनस वन नंबर ऑफ नोट्स हो सकते हैं तो स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी हो गई आपकी ऑर्डर ऑफ वी इफ यू आर यूजिंग एडजेंसी लिस्ट टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज से ऑर्डर ऑफ वी प्लस ई इफ एडजेंसी मैट्रिक्स इज यूज Scanning each row for checking the connectivity of the vertex is order of v. So the same, the complexity of is order of v square. This is the question. Try yourself. Perform the BFS and DFS on the given diagram. In BFS, we use Q, and in DFS, we use Stack. 
in BFS we use Q and in uh, DFS we use a stack. मैं आपको एक BFS perform करके बता देती हूँ. In BFS we use Q and we start traversing from any of the vertex. Suppose we start from A. Insert the A into the Q and now exploring A. Exploring A means visit all the adjacent vertices of A. The adjacent vertices of A is B and D. Now start exploring B. Adjacent vertices of B are C, E, G. Now start exploring D. D के adjacent है C. C is already visited. Then start exploring C. C के adjacent है A. A is already visited. Now start exploring E. A के adjacent है H. Now start exploring G. G के adjacent है F. F is not visited. Now start exploring H. H adjacent है G पे. G is already visited. Now start exploring F. F के adjacent कोई भी नोड नहीं है तो it is pop out from the queue. The order in which they are traversed is A, B, D, C, E, G, H, F. A, B, D, C, E, G, H, F. Same manner, perform the DFS, but in DFS we use a stack data structure. So try yourself. The answer is that. These are the references. So we study BFS and DFS. BFS is used to find shortest path and minimum spanning tree of the unweighted graph. It is also used in social networking, website, cycle detection in the uh, undirected graph, path finding, finding all the nodes within a one component. There are many application of the DFS like you, it is used to detecting the cycle in the graph for pathfinding, in topological sorting, to test the graph is bipartite or not. It is also used to find strongly connected components of the graph. For an unweighted graph, DFS traversal of the graph produces the minimum spanning tree and all pair shortest path tree. So it's all about the BFS and DFS. Thank you so much. For any query, you can contact at this email ID.